Today, Rob is working with Professor Tim Mousseau to catch an incredibly special specimen. Okay. Now we just wait, huh? Yeah, we just sit back, have a little coffee break, and uh, wait for the birds to fly in. <laughs> All right. Cool. Many of the birds here show signs of severe radiation damage, cataracts, cancers, smaller brains. But a rare few don't. Nice. Oh, what do we got? Two of them. Excellent. Oh, some great tits. These are great tits. Pars my mind are. My are. Uh, there yeah, you go. this goes here. Now, yeah. ah, oh goodness, <laughs> ow. <laughs> Yeah, they got a little bite, don't they? Yes, they do. Yeah. Just bite my finger there. The darker patch on the wing shows that this humble great tit is a world first, a species that is actually adapting to the radiation. Yeah, we, we recently found that um, some of the species of birds actually are doing reasonably well in these areas of high contamination. How does that work? Blood tests show that these little birds have evolved to produce antioxidants that protect them against radiation damage. So these different birds are adapting to the situation that they're in, then? It's, it really is natural selection in action, yep. Oh, that's fascinating. These birds are adapting to this nuclear environment at a rate that is really unbelievable for an animal of this complexity. And this is the first time it's been seen in the wild. Now, if we could understand the mechanism that allows this change to happen, then it would be a real game changer.